Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has announced some significant changes over the last couple of hours in regards to the Windows Insider program, where they are now introducing a new Canary channel. And the new channel basically will split the current dev channel into two parts. And um, the Canary channel will be a hot off the presses channel offering early looks at platform changes that require long lead times and um, aren't tied to a specific Windows release. And um, they are also now rebooting the dev channel where a rebooted dev channel, as they are calling it, will offer a bit more stability than the new Canary channel, but still won't be tied to a Windows release with some tested features potentially never shipping. Now, this is a very similar model as to your Edge Insider channels, um, which you know on this channel, if you have been viewing this channel for a while, that I do feature the um, Edge Canary browser, which basically is your first point of call and is updated on a daily basis where um, you get your brand new features, your cutting edge features, or as Microsoft calls it, hot off the presses. And then you move to your dev beta and then to your stable version. So it's a very similar layout and format now that Microsoft is structuring now in the Windows 11 and Windows Insider program. Now, just to give you a little bit more info, and this is going to be quite a lot of information I'm going to provide you with. Microsoft says that the builds released to the Canary channel will have higher build numbers than the dev, beta, and release preview channels, starting with 25,000 series builds. And insiders previously in the dev channel were already receiving these builds. And to ensure that you continue to receive new updates going forward, Microsoft says they will be moving um, insiders in the dev channel to the canary channel starting today and that starting today is referencing the 6th of march which was yesterday in my region so just take note of that microsoft carries on to say the builds that were flighted to the canary channel will be will be hot off the presses as i mentioned um flighting very soon after they are built and so it's basically your first point of call with brand new features very similar to your edge canary channel as mentioned which means um, very little validation and documentation will be done before they are offered to insiders and something to take note of here these builds could include major issues that could result in not being able to use your pc correctly or even in some rare cases require you to reinstall windows so just take note canary channels are very unstable so you may have to completely reinstall windows um, if things break and go bang in the night, so to speak. Now, and Microsoft carries on to say they will offer limited documentation for the Canary channel, but will not publish a blog post for every flight. Only when new features are available in a build will they have continued to publish a blog post for new features and, uh, and will continue to provide blog posts for the dev, beta, and release preview releases like they normally do. And something to take note of here, um, the Canary uh, browser gets updated daily, as we can see. But Microsoft says the Canary channel in the Windows Insider program won't receive daily builds. However, they may ramp up releasing builds more frequently in the future. Now, basically, the dev channel has been rebooted and is the recommended channel that Microsoft says insiders, basically, if you are hungriest to try out new features and experiences, they recommend the dev channel. And um, it's basically will provide better, a better platform stability, which is why and Microsoft does recommend that most insiders join the dev channel and not the Canary channel. And they say as they get closer to shipping, these experiences will also make their way to the beta channel, which is quite normal. So if you want to switch channels, Microsoft says now is a good time to do that. So do that sooner than later. And if you are an insider in the beta channel who wants to be closer to the latest new features and experience, they recommend that you switch to the dev channel as soon as possible. Now, just to dive a little bit deeper as to the way forward going forward. And if we head over to a basically an image or a layout of the new, um, basically the new Windows Insider program. This will give you a, a better idea and a wider perspective as to what is going on. So this is basically um, the Insider channels and what they will look like going forward with the updated channel descriptions. Now, just to go through these quickly, the new Canary channel, yeah, we can see is brand new on the left. And um, Microsoft says is ideal for highly technical users um, preview the latest platform changes early in the development cycle and uh, um, these builds can be unstable and are released with limited to no documentation as mentioned. Then we move on to the um, the dev channel which has been totally rebooted. Um, ideal for enthusiasts access the latest Windows 11 preview builds 
as they incubate, incubate new ideas and develop long lead features, there will be some rough edges and low stability. And then we move on to the beta and the release preview channels, which basically remain unchanged. So there's going to be no difference to the beta and release preview channels. So I'm not going to really too mention too much there what's going on because that remains unchanged. But this just gives you a bit of a clearer idea as to what the new Canary channel is all about. And as mentioned, very similar now to what we get with the browsers where you get a a canary, a dev, a beta, and then basically it gets released to the general public. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.